prayer reacting to today's daily dose of TikToks. Let's go. I found a criminal on Facebook Marketplace. So this guy's selling his car and I go, hello, is this still available? He goes, yes, it is. I say, have you ever done any illegal activities inside the vehicle? He goes, lol, no, like what? I said, I don't know, like kidnapped your best friend's wife, took her to Walmart in the east end of the city and forced her to shoplift three bottles of Crystal Pepsi to avoid having a shoplifting charge in your own name before dropping her off back safely at home. And he goes, oh shit, that's oddly specific, but you have my interest. Is there still Pepsi Crystal for sale? I may just do that. What are the odds that happens twice? <laughs> so I go, if it were to happen again, would it be in this vehicle by any chance? He goes, not at all. I have a pickup with very dark windows. No one will ever see us. I go, sounds like a fantastic plan. I would also like to know what your favorite crimes are. It's a very important thing to know. He goes, geez, there's so many I'd be interested in. I'd consider murder for hire. Gas prices are high. An extra buck wouldn't hurt. But no kids and only bad people. I'm not discriminating gender, just no kids. At this point, I set his nickname in the chat to Metal Earlobe. I just thought that it was suitable at the time. Um, and then I go, I respect the boundaries you've set for criminal activities. Would you consider a partner? And now at this point, I'm considering, I'm saying, you know, maybe we could be partners in crime at the very least. You know, I'd have my safety and I'd have a little bit of fun at the same time. But he goes, nah, too many loose ends. I'm the only one to blame. So I go, that means there can only be one of us. And I think we both know what that calls for. Wild West standoff, okay? Everybody thought the same thing that I did, do not lie. So he goes, I was thinking the same thing. Do you still wanna buy this car? And he sends a picture of it on fire. And I go, is the radio still working? It's a pretty important thing to know. If the radio's still working, I might still be interested in the deal. And he goes, pounds like a runaway hooker. I don't know why, but that shit fucking sent me. So I go, well, grease my elbow and call me Stalin. You have yourself a deal. And he goes, excellent. Where do I ship it? But seriously, any questions about the car? And I go, nah, man, this was fun. He goes, I even held back thinking you were a buyer. Now, I felt a little bad, but you did say you wanted to commit crimes in a pickup <laughs> truck, okay? So I go, I apologize, brother, but after that conversation, if I wanted the car, I'd have to pay you extra for it. And he goes, I would have taken less, bud. And I go, it's a love story. <laughs> it is, it is, and that's where it ended. Yeah, that's I found a criminal funny, on Facebook Market. There's a major unfair advantage that mouse and keyboard players have over controller players. They have one hand on a keyboard where every possible action in the game can be assigned to its I don't own want to hear this. Keybind, and then a whole other arm just for aiming. But controller players have to aim, jump, slide, switch weapons, and reload with just one thumb. That is, unless you have a hex or controller like an this. Xbox which, Elite, by the way, I'm giving one away. Or a scuff three. controller. Is that it has four paddles on the back so does a scuff. So does an Xbox One Elite. It's not the only thing out there on the market. Uh, how much in contact are you with Bam these days? Not much at all, which I, is I good. I reached out to him like a week ago or two weeks ago, and, and there was the first time I, didn't, I actually didn't hear back. Which I, is which a, I good a good thing. Sign, yeah. yeah, right now, knowing where he's at and the position he's in, no news is good news. And, and I know uh, that he was at a position in his journey with his recovery that uh, he could have a phone briefly yeah. and kind of earn that and then he, i think he's allowed to have a phone right now and he's just choosing to not use it which is the best fucking sign i wish that was the case oh, okay so, so <laughs> that, would be, that would be right it's like fuck there's a sign of hope here is right. he out and about or is he in no, somewhere so he they he had the phone and because he wasn't doing what should be done they took the phone back from him got it so, so he's that's why i didn't hear back yeah from him. Totally. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, he's in a program. Um, and the good thing is now is, is uh, he's got, like, he's under a conservatorship, you know? and It's not a conservatorship. It's a guardianship. Oh, really? And the conservatorship has, Spears. has financial implications. With the conservatorship, they're, they're in charge of all of your, your money and everything. A guardianship, they kind of leave your money out of it. Yeah. And uh, in the guardianship, they're just, like, kind of... There's rules you have to abide by, and he's like forced to be. And how how long do you have to be like that for? I think that I mean I don't know that we're, we're really even allowed to talk about uh, about it too much, but um, as I understand it, it it's like uh, still happening. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll, leave, we'll leave it at that. We'll and the good the, thing is, is, is it, it's kind of doing for him what he can't do for man. himself. That's sad, man. I know. I, I agree. I agree very much, and um, you know, it, it, like even bringing up Bam is just like a, a lightning rod of uh, you know, like 
controversy and shit. It I really is. What, it's a shame. What I want to say is that, I, and I've said this before, but I'll say it again, is that I've always, nah, not always, I used to always be so jealous of him. He was such a fucking, just ambitious, fucking, like, just talented, like, he was so good at making footage so funny and like not even, just making great amazing footage out of like nothing even happening and I was like man for me to get footage I gotta like do something huge you know like I couldn't just make footage out of nothing like that all you had to do was get a fucking dog oh oh bro that had me dogs like what uh no bro I'm good I just saw you beat Beat that man. I'm not about to grab that thing and see what you do to me. No, I was smarter than that. Yo, what's up, pussies? So let's go ahead and build Soli's cold air intake, even though That's I can't install it. That's a pretty large so I intake. I ended up going with the Rotofab option because a lot of people vouch for it on it's YouTube and filter. the forums, but that intake manifold and the cover is looking sick. Now, when it comes to the air filter, you have two options, dry or oiled. I'm pretty sure this is the oiled option because it's red and the dry one is gray. Don't really know the difference between the two, but I see a lot of people arguing which one is better. I'm not entirely sure. So here's all the piping, and no, I'm not talking about Cody, but let's go through this. And I suppose these are the clamps right here to put it together. I'm probably being a little bit impatient, but whatever, let's just put it together. I'm gonna be using my Jex toolbox to put this together, so big shout out it's to that. Tiny toolbox. Making some progress here, but most of the instructions have to do with relocating the OEM MAF, and I'm not doing that, obviously definitely coming together that's pretty much the most i can do wow yo what's up pussies so every hundred dollars you make what are you gonna do with it fold it up put it away out of sight out of mind i know my act bag's crazy i know my hair is fucked up it's 5 a.m i'm out here charging my car and shit but listen whatever's a hundred dollars cannot spend it unless it's mandatory you should know this by now so what do I have to spend out of all of these? Well, all these are folds. They're all 100 folds. I have $20 to spend today. What am I going to spend it on? No idea. I don't really follow so that. Here I got Ooh, Ooh, Logic like speaks on Eminem. Like a couple years ago, oh, like, the God. internet was like making fun of Eminem. Like, it was mm -hmm. just a fun thing to do. Like, oh, we're just going to make fun We've of Eminem. We've had this conversation, Yeah, he's bro. too lyrical, miracle, schmiracle. Like, what? We've had this conversation. I'm like, yo, some, I'm in bizarro world. Hey, dude, it's mm -hmm. crazy because we've had this conversation where I say, man, Eminem is crazy how people come at Eminem, and I remember Eminem just what the world felt like, the yeah. grasp he had on it. And I tell people sometimes, and, and, and not to take this the wrong way, I say, you know what happened with Eminem, bro? He lived. Damn! He lived, bro. Yo, if Eminem I, had passed, yeah, and no, yeah. no, of course, of understand course. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I don't it. clickbait this shit yeah, don't or none of that. It. If he had passed in the so-called prime yeah biggest thing not to the genre biggest thing in the world yeah but he lived so he didn't he he became goofy or yeah. he became old school and guess he became, what he lived and he is that yes to me and he to a is, lot yeah. of yeah, people for sure bro. but i agree it's uh it's just anyway yeah. he, and it is what it is yeah. man look at yeah, him he's great he got his beard <laughs> i wish i had a beard <laughs> like a couple years ago oh, like the internet hilarious. was like making fun of eminem so on Prime, I'm assuming that was your idea because of the way it's been, the story's been told. Mm. Did it start with you and then you took it to JJ? Is that right? Here's what happened. Um, the CEO kind of chases down me down for a while. He's like, oh, I want to make a be beverage with you. Mm. Jeff kind of, we ignored, you know, the, the company for maybe like six, seven months. And then the, my manager, um, finally took the, the phone call and the guy was sharp and i think the ceo pitched jj to me and then and then i liked the idea mm. i said i actually I, I actually could see how me and him coming together w w would make a splash mm -hmm. so what are we making he goes i don't know like what, what do we want to do mm -hmm. you know like what's our product i was like Hi, hydration we could fill that niche. We could probably do a, a bit of a disruptive takeover. Um, I want it to be bold. I want it to be in your face, bright colors, uh, amazing product. What about Prime? Does that work? Mm -hmm. And so I went to JJ and I pitched him the idea. I was like, hey, dude, like, 
I, and this is gonna fucking sound and crazy because mm-hmm. I know like I know what kind of like where we stand. But do you want to make a business together? Mm-hmm. And he liked and the idea. To market it for you. And his manager and his team liked the idea, and it fucking worked. Mm-hmm. It, it worked. What's your estimated? If 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 you sell, what do you think you sell that for? Because I remember Fifty Cent selling vitamin water and making four hundred million off of his share of it. Yeah, my number is five billion for Prime. Which I think we'll, we'll, we'll hit in three years. So I'm prime. I'm, I'm right, assuming guys. that was your that idea, idea because of the way it's been. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm done. I'm out of here. See you next time.